Hi there! In this video, I will be demonstrating to you how to solve a prepayment and accrual question. Typically, how to recognize whether it is a prepayment and accrual question, you have to look out for terms such as accrued advertising expense, prepaid advertising expense, rent income receivable, or rent income received in advance. Now these are common terminologies for a prepayment and accrual question. And if you're lucky, you might see all four of them happening at the same time. So let's go straight into the question. To do this kind of question, you have to be very focused. So in part A, they ask you to prepare advertising expense accounts. So here, focus on just the advertising expense items, meaning the first two rows of this information. And since you're asked to prepare an account, it must be in a ledger format with the debit, credit and balance columns. Now always be careful of the amounts. In this question, it is very nicely put out in a table format whereby you have the amount on the 1st of May 2015 and 30th of April 2016, meaning this amount here refers to the amounts on the starting day of the financial year, whereas the amounts on 30th of April 2016 are the amounts on the last day of the financial year. Also, look out for the additional information, anything that relates to your advertising expense. And just nice, you do have a payment of 6600 by check made for advertising expense. So I'm going to use all these highlighted figures to prepare the advertising expense account. So you begin with the 1st of May 2015. And do not write balance brought down because this is not a balance sheet item. You will always close off an expense account to profit and loss most of the time, except for sales revenue, sales returns and cost of sales. Those will be closed off to the trading portion. So here we can't write balance brought down. What you will write instead is the particulars here, accrued advertising expense. And here the amount of 1000. Okay, first of all, you need to take note whether it is a plus minus or minus plus kind of account. Since this is an expense account, it is a plus minus of nature. So here, advertising expense in the accrued format, first of all, it is a liability. Whereas prepaid advertising expense is an asset. Next, since this is a liability account, we are going to credit this amount $1,000 okay why this is so the reason behind this is that this accrued advertising amount of $1,000 refers to the advertising expense meant for last year yet you did not pay for it so this is why you have a liability as a business since this amount of $1,000 is meant for last year's advertising expense, it should not be included in this year's advertising expense account. This is why we minus it away. The other way you can think of it is, for the first line in the advertising expense account, the shortcut way is such that, since this is a liability, and a liability is of a credit nature, we will put this amount on the credit side. However, if you want to think of it in another way, we can prepare an accrued advertising account. And this is just for demonstration purposes, illustration. Advertising expense account on the 1st of May we have a balance brought down of $1,000 and it is on the credit side since this is a liability. 
so because we are going to pay it off very soon on the first of may also we will actually remove that one thousand dollars and we write advertising expense and we will debit the amount one thousand since we debit on the accrued advertising account we will credit one thousand dollars on the expense account itself so there are three explanations behind this first entry so here we one thousand credit next we need to recognize any payments made for the advertising account yes indeed we paid six thousand six hundred since the question did not mention when we make the payment we will just put this amount on the last day of the financial year which is on april 2016. here we will write cash at bank since we paid using check since we paid for the advertising expense meaning as a business we enjoyed the service rendered to us we actually have to increase this account by 6600 so here we have a remaining amount of 5600 on the debit side next it is mentioned here that on the 30th of april 2016 you have a prepaid advertising expense of eight hundred dollars so here you write april 30th particulars will be prepaid advertising expense ask yourself the first way you can think of it is since this is a prepaid advertising expense that means you paid a bit too much therefore this amount is meant for next year the next financial year therefore this amount should not be included in this year's account we will minus it away another way you can think of it is since this is an asset account so if we were to prepare a prepaid advertising account we will actually would have debited the amount $800 since it is an asset account so on the opposite side for the advertising expense account we will credit it so having done that we cannot close off as a balance brought down this account will go off to the profit and loss so we will credit the amount 4800 so that we have zero dollars at the end of the financial year so that is for the advertising expense account we will move now to the income account we have the rent income account this time around an income will be a minus plus account so here we're going to highlight it using a different color and don't forget the additional information all right you have a beginning amount of 900 dollars this time around the account is called rent income receivable so we need to have on the first of may rent income receivable this rent income receivable is an asset like how trade receivables is it is also an asset so any account with the term receivable we will write it as an asset so as an asset we are going to debit this amount meaning we put it in a minus column that's one way of explaining it Another way is that this rent income receivable means that last year, in the last financial year, we have already performed the service of renting out our premises. Therefore, we expect to receive rent income. However, we have not received the payment for it. So this rent income is actually meant for the previous financial year. Therefore, it should not be included in this year's rent income. Another way you can think of it is if you prepare rent income receivable account, it would have a 
balance of 900 debit. So since we will be receiving money for the rent income, we will actually need to remove that receivable and remove it on the credit side. So this is on the credit side, in the rent income account will be on the debit side. So here we have 900 debit. Next, look at the additional information. It says here this time around is annual rent income amounted to 9,600 for the year 30th April 2016. This here refers to the profit and loss entry, which means is the last line of entry. So we will reserve this for later. Then what? We cannot fill in the second line, which is the cash at bank account. But not to worry, we can still fill in the particulars first. We can work backwards later on. How about this information here, the $600? Rent income received in advance, meaning as a business, we received cash already of $600 for rent income that was actually meant for the next financial year. So we can't include this amount into our rent income account. Therefore, we need to minus away the $600. Another way to think of it, this is actually a liability. So in the liability account, you will actually credit it. Therefore, in the rent income account, we will debit it. On April 30th, the last line will be your profit and loss. The amount here, since you say annual rent income, you actually need to write 9,600 here. Credit debited, such that you have zero at the end of the year. So if you work backwards, you're missing an amount on the credit side. Since this on the debit side has got a sum of 11,100, it must be also 11,100 on the credit side. Therefore, the amount of rent income payment that you receive, or cash that you receive, is actually 11,100. So to calculate this in your running balance, 10,200 credit. So it actually flows correctly. 10,200 credit, you minus away 600, you get 9,600. And then you minus away 9,600, you get zero at the end of the day. So that's for part A and part B. In the next video, we will answer part C and D as well.